Life is Strange is one of my favorite game series of all time, and easily the game that's had the most impact on me. What's poppin' people? It's your boy Levi. And if this is your first playthrough from me, you're in for a ride. Before the Storm and the original Life is Strange are my favorite games of the series, and I'm hoping that Double Exposure can live up to them. All I've seen going into this is the trailer, so I'm glad to be Max once again. Let's get into it. One thing I do want to mention is that I'm going to try not to mute any copyright music during this playthrough. Life is Strange soundtracks have always been a big part of the game to me, and my enjoyment of the game as well. Which, speaking of music to start off with, this is like a, like a eerie start, no? It had some lyrics earlier, but I wasn't recording it, I was doing the settings. I kinda like this menu music, it's, it's cool. New game. Oh, I'm so excited, dude, I love Life is Strange. I do have the Ultimate Edition, hence why this is up before uh, the release date. Uh, there's no embargo, which is nice, but also that means I have extra outfits, I believe, right? So we got the classic deer outfit, typical Max, you know, with the deer. Got a duck outfit. Some more deer. Oh, that's cool. Que? <laughs> I like that. Classic hippie Max, I think. This might fit her new style. I don't know if this fits old Max. It's a hot dog man. It's hot dog man and a bird. Oh, are some of these locked? Is that why they're like this? Oh, I kind of like the bones. It's Halloween. Or it's around how It's Halloween season, I should say. And then the cat. Dude, the cat is so cute. How do I not play as the cat? What does it say? Awesome possum? That's a very max thing. <laughs> oh, we may have to go with the cow outfit. Oh, but the, the bones outfit changes her hair. I guess some of them do all change her hair. Oh, I kind of want to go with the Bones outfit, dude. It's Halloween. Okay, we'll be spooky. It's spooky season. And my outdoor outfits, I got this big jacket. Oh, it's the patch on the side. Gotcha. Uh, this looks like the one that Max would probably wear. Red jacket. Oh, look at the hat. Oh, the hat's so cute. Dude, I love the shoes. I need me shoes like that. The pink laces go hard. Wait, that might be the choice. Camo. I don't really think Max is a camo girly. The mismatched shoelaces go hard. I like the purple gloves and hat, too. Oh, the skull hat. The skull hat's cute. And the skull hands. Wait, give me give me cat. Oh, I thought it would give me like a cat ear. Ooh, this is <laughs> this is a very loud statement. It does have the pink laces, though. I don't know how I feel about the cow print. Cow print? I don't know how I feel about the cheetah print, though. It's like, I don't know. Is, I like the burnt orange, but I feel like it looks ugly with the spots. I like everything else, though. Oh, missed opportunity to give me a cat beanie, though. Kind of like this one most. <laughs> I think I might go this one for outdoor wear. Oh, can I not? Double up. Oh, I can't wear this one outdoor and then this one indoor. Oh, then we gotta go with the Bones outfit then. Yeah, that's the most neutral too, I think. Well, that's fine. It's Halloween. Chapter one, still life. Veteran Let's Player here. You know where I got the subtitles on. The mayor may not have been on by default, but I did check. Yo, let me know in the comments what your favorite era of Life is Strange music stick was. Because I love the first game's original music, but Daughter and her music has, like, stuck with me. I listen to that in playlists, just in my casual time. I also think No Care for the bathroom scene for Chloe was probably the best title sequence screen. I do like Max walking through the hallways, but that one specifically stood out to me so much. I wonder if Chloe's in this game, actually. I imagine not, right? I'm assuming the canon ending is you go back. Spoilers for Life is Strange 1, it's been like 10 years old. You go back to the bathroom and watch her get shot.
Oh, Safi. Well, I'll be damned. Seen you in the trailer. You were a criminal mastermind, Miss Caulfield. <laughs> There's a lot you don't know about me. You breaking and entering? Truly, is nothing easy. How do we get around that? Climb over that. <sighs> what are we delinquents? Like this? Chloe, rub off on me. Let me take a look. Enter the bowling alley. Okay, we are Max. Wow, it's been a long time since I've played as Max. And holy sensitivity. <laughs> okay, that's better. <laughs> Life is Strange is not the type of game where you need like quick movements. Yeah, that's the bowling alley entrance. That's where we just came from. I'm not about to leave before I've gotten a few good photos of this joint. Classic Max, about to take photos. I hope whoever Neb is, they don't mind that I'm in their pub. Oh, I wonder how I have photo opportunities I again. I can take them. So the collectible in Life is Strange 1 was to take different photos of things. You're telling me you can't jump that? You just climb over it? Oh, yeah. Easy peasy. Sure about this? Positive. Hey, Safi, let me tell you about the time that I built a bomb to break through a door. <laughs> I just lift it? I yoked? Oh my god, I'm yoked. Max had a creatine this morning. Wait for it. Go! We can do the same thing to get back out. Talk about descending into the mouth of hell. Hell is right. It's incredible. Ah, oh, this is incredible. So I love abandoned places. About this place. It's incredible. Ooh. <laughs> That's one word for it. Uh, I had a friend in undergrad who was obsessed with this building. She never broke in, though. She clearly wasn't as crazy as you. You don't know the half of it. <laughs> Urban exploration is kind of my thing. I can't see a busted old place and simply not go into it. What is it about empty spaces? Oh, they're comforting. Potential, the uselessness. Yeah, it's like the uselessness. Places like this have been declared useless. And you find all these treasures. I like finding the worth in them. Yeah, I relate. Doesn't useless mean worthless? I don't think so. Hell yeah, let's hit the bar. I don't know about that one. Bad shot. Oh, we let me it. just don't. Yeah, you can't what? tamper with I it. I don't usually rearrange the space if I can help it. I want it to look exactly like it would without human interference. Got it. Hands off. Is there anything that I should be doing? Looking pretty, bring me a drink. Ah, oh, the urge to say, bring me a drink. I don't know if we're together or if this is like a potential love interest. I mean, we know she dies from the trailer. That's not spoilers. But I think this is who Max was into. Just sit still and look pretty. The job I was born for. <laughs> <laughs> Real. <laughs> oh, I still can take photographs. Nice. I like that. Hold the zoom, zoom out. Oh, can I take a picture of her? Oh, I can't. It stops the screen. I was going to just pan over. All right, we got this cinematic shot, right? I think that's good, right? So what are we looking for? That one's for going in the cringe exactly. comp. Besides photographing random detritus. Most of the shoots I do, I find a focus. Something to hang the rest of the series on. I'll know when I see it. Something lonely. The loneliest thing you can find. <laughs> gotcha, boss. <laughs> Try not to breathe too deep. This place looks like it's 90% asbestos. Oh no. I'm gonna get sick. Uh, photograph the bowling alley. Okay. 
Different photo ops in here. Partner in crime. Partner in crime. No. Partner in time. Partner in crime. Max and Chloe when they're kids. Now I have a partner in crime. I wonder if this game will just be filled with references. Oh, there's so many photo ops. Okay. I'd like to meet the artist, especially if this is a self-portrait. Oh, maybe she'll just talk about all of them then. As, you, as we know, Life is Strange is a very like world investment. So I'm sorry if you're not the type that wants to see me explore everything. But I feel like if you're going to play a game like this, you have to explore everything, right? Ah, uh, yes. Abraxas. Those guys really get around. Oh, I should also check. Do I have a journal? Rewind hasn't worked in years. I just tried to press rewind and it did so, that. Old habits die hard. That's so funny. I just clicked the re I, I click left trigger, which is like the rewind button of the Come old on, game. Max. That's so funny. Gotta focus on the here and Wait, now. she says different things if I try to press it. Oh, she just says two things. That's so funny. <laughs> rewind hasn't worked in years. It doesn't look like I have a scrapbook. I'm so glad. So oh, if I press up the it tells me my objective, which is nice. Okay. Excuse me. Here we go. Looks almost like a face. I see it. The indicator's like where the mouth is. How old did you say this place was? I think it was built in the 60s, but it only closed down like a decade ago. This is in really? a decade? It looks yeah. like it's been abandoned for half a century. <laughs> Maybe the tackier something is, the faster the rate of decay. <laughs> A sound theory, then explain your jacket. That's crazy. I gotta say it. We're snarky. Then wouldn't that jacket be totally decayed by now? <gasps> Me. <laughs> this is Couture. Okay, Victoria. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad she took that well. Oh, this is cute. I like them. This outlet. Hey, any GeoGuessr pros? Can you tell me where I am? <laughs> I feel like maybe I should have backed up a bit. It wouldn't have, like, washed out in the wall so much. I don't know. I'm not a photographer. Oh, she's over there now. I'm glad Sophie's having fun. Hate to bring an unappreciative audience to a trespassing. <laughs> I don't want to talk to her yet in case it makes me advance the seed. I want to look around more. Hail Satan. Hmm. Edgy. Press select to like view your objective. Prince of lies. Oh, there we go. Task. Enter the bowling alley, photograph the bowling alley. Messages. I have text messages. There's no internet in here. What what, a, what an interesting way to be like, you don't have access to this menu yet. There's no internet in service in this abandoned building. <laughs> Crosstalk? Is that like Instagram? People are bad enough. The supernatural is spooky. What does right bumper do? I don't know what it does. Well, I was... God, I haven't been bowling since Wait, did, I, did the time expire? I don't know what it John made me do. <laughs> Was I supposed to combine the two buttons? Weird kid. Learning Something curve. To bring you back to the beginning. Imagine that. Fun party though. There was ice cream cake. I can sprint. Maybe if I just ignore this, nothing will pop out of it. Yeah, that's a little creepy now. Can we go in there? Put your hand down. Should keep looking around. This guess these haven't been greased in a minute. Your picture of the lanes. Wow. It looks so much cleaner than it did online. Are there photos? Yeah. The old website is still up. I wonder who's paying the hosting fees. Someone who loves kitsch and dust. Hey, Safi, get in there and do like the me bowling pose, you know? When you like roll the ball backwards and they do jump and do a spin. Hit one of those real quick. I'll photograph it. We'll put that shit on TikTok. We'll make a mill. 
I retake that. Put some zoom action. Yo, off center too. Just in the corner. Gotta get the eye in there as well. That goes hard. Oh, I love this. Figured out what your focus is gonna be yet? Pull down the tarp. This one? Not yet. That's a roof. <laughs> when I see it. Oh, sleeping here. Good thing this building isn't on campus. My mom would definitely have had it raised to the ground by now. Your mom? Press L to move faster. Interesting. Okay, you have to like press right bumper to activate the selection, I guess. Expensive, new, and inoffensive. Probably shouldn't climb on that. Do gumballs have an expiration date? Probably. Oh, what's on the menu? Hamburger, cheeseburger, hot dog, pies, onion rings, chips. 75 cents for chips. Get me in there. 25 cents for a pickle. <laughs> Soda, tea, ice, ice ream, crack. Crack? Cracker? Crack is crazy. Nebulous snack. That's insane. They're selling crack out of here. Free hugs. I'll pass. Oh, Is it's a gnome. Seizing the means of production. Oh, we've been gnomed. That's crazy. How did we get gnomed in a place like this? Dude, look at all the bowling balls. <laughs> it's just on the ground. Kind of crazy. Oh, what is this? Main objective. Pull down tarp. Yep, we know. I'm glad they're giving it to me in bite-sized chunks. I told you this place was the portal to hell. Behold, a devil. Aw, it's cute. I think it looks like an off-brand M&M. Yeah, it kind of does look like an M&M. It kind of yeah. looks like the bowling pins are like pigtails. It looks like Mr. Peanut on meth, and I hate it. I wonder if there's any way to get it out of here. <laughs> you want to take what, it with you? You mean steal it? I think it's way too heavy. Why not? It's not like anybody is gonna miss it. Couldn't you steal something that? Got a little bit of a rebel side with this max. Okay. Well, doesn't even matter. It's way too big to drag out with just the two of us. We get a team. We can take the little one. Oh, there's like a little one. Yeah, give me the little one. I could never resist a deal. Aww. That's cute. I like it. Debris. If a roof collapses in a bowling alley and no <laughs> one is around to hear it, can you still collect the insurance money? <laughs> yeah. The world may never know. Age old question. <laughs> can you still tax it? I've never bowled anything above a 180. Like Vanderbeen. Go, Doug. Oh, oh, you think you are? I oh, am. Doug, no. Score 36. Did you go from a perfect score to a 36? How does that even happen? Look at back area. My money's on one half full big life. LGBT bowling league? Sign me up. Just kidding, I actually don't like bowling. <laughs> it's like fine. It's fun on occasion. I don't think I could be part of a league. Cooper's Donuts versus one half full Bic layer. <laughs> I like that. I like the team names. Free Ballin. That's a oh, good man. tournament name. I'm nine years late for my free slice of za. Free slice of za? There's no way you're calling pizza za. Za, man, it says they actually sell the drugs out of here. They got crack on the menu. They got the za za on the poster. They're getting high in here. That was it. The higher education. Behold, is Frank in here? Least part of bowling. Is Frank alive? For sale, bowling shoes, extremely worn. Take a picture of the shoes. Shoes? Are shoes lonely? Super. Yeah, they never have an owner. Sans feet. 
shoes were the subject of the first photo of mine your mom ever saw. Oh my god. <sighs> this year's Caledon <laughs> University artist in residence sent my mom foot pics. That's crazy. And didn't get paid. Believe it. I guess there are just some things about your mom you don't know. Ugh, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> it was a shot of a messy Oh, I like the relationship. The Someone left behind all their shoes. Your mom loved it. I like the banter. Hypocritical of her considering she never liked it when my closet was messy, but... <laughs> yeah, that's real. Oh, side angle? Gotta get the rose, right? Straight on? Nah, it's definitely the angle shot. Figured out what your focus is gonna be yet? Nope. I'm distracted yet, by everything in here. But I'll upstairs. know it when I see it. Can I go upstairs? I can't go upstairs. All right. Where's this tarp? Never mind. It's a brain Relatable. skull. Sometimes I feel like someone is eating my brains with a spoon. It's cool graffiti. Graffiti is so creative sometimes, dude. Like when it's not just like hate speech and slurs. <laughs> oh, this tarp? Wait, let me talk to Safi real quick, because I haven't done that yet. What are you smiling about? You? Nothing. <laughs> We're going. She's probably walking on the path. All right, let's tarp. They must have thought something was worth preserving back when they closed this place down. <laughs> Ugh, dusty. So much for never rearranging a space. Wait, that's cool. I want Damn. that. I bet that was stunning when it caught the light. Oh shit. That's it, huh? Hmm? The centerpiece you wanted, right? The loneliest thing in here or whatever. It was made to be beautiful. Yeah. And it's and forgotten. No one ever looks at it. Don't put someone which work into that probably. Till today. <laughs> Something like that. Not in love with this angle, though. I gotta get up there. <sighs> yep. There. Help me find a way up. This totally isn't gonna collapse. You got it, boss. Dude, this is so reminiscent of, like, when Max and Chloe were in the junkyard, like, with the bottles. And, like, Max was, like, really hesitant about, like, doing all this exploring in, like, the junkyard. But now we're just exploring abandoned places. Get my way, Savi. We gotta go up there. Is there more of the shoes I can look at? Oh, I can climb up top. There's a gap in the the banister. We learned that from like Frank Stone. That's game design. Use this to get around those stairs. We got gloves on. We're good. Good job, Super Max. You got the Doc Martens on? You okay? Damn. Yeah, I I'm fine. That could have been bad. See, this is why you need an assistant. In case you break your ass and need an ass ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want to be my ass MT? Go get your shot. Let me figure out how to get you back down. Armed and ready. Let's find that shot. Photograph the nebula. <laughs> How are your parkour skills? Pretty good. Uh, I, I, they're pretty good. <laughs> I said, "How are your?" It's a dumb bit. What? I said, "You're fucking with me, aren't you?" <laughs> I'll keep looking. 
Ain't no rule that says a carousel horse can't bowl. Yeah. Let him in. Let him play. <laughs> Polarama. Oh, the more gnomes. The gnomes smoking weed really pull the place together. Yeah, who did this? Chloe? Ugh, R.I.P. I'm guessing that's the right room. Thanks. <laughs> I guess I could have just opened it. <laughs> Strange. They used the title. They said the thing. Birth. Birthy. Wonder if the birthday room was any less terrifying back <laughs> in its heyday. Ah, oh, this is crazy. I'd live here. Broken bowling Always ball. Always wondered what's inside a bowling ball. Turns out it's just more bowling ball. It's a bag of bowling ball inside a bag of bowling ball. What will happen? What time is it? Is the clock working? This clock's not working. <laughs> Are you here because I took one of your children? Yeah. Have I unlocked some foul curse? Oh my god, can you imagine? As long as I have its, like, child, it just follows me around. <laughs> Pretty shitty leaving these around for someone else to find. They open? Also, it's in the birthday room? Questionable. That's the second biggest monkey DJ I've ever seen. What's the first? Gorillas? Gorillas. Yes, this is the angle I need. Hey, careful. You know you're clumsy. Where'd Safi go? I was like, surely this is the angle where I can take a picture of her. You gotta play Where's Safi? Perfect. Oh, you found me a ladder. <laughs> wow. Ballet service too? What what icon was on the back of her Please back of her bag? Was it an LGBT you flag? Driver. Did you get your shot? I did. And let's get the hell out of this death trap. Oh, I think it's just a logo. I don't think it's an LGBT flag. Maybe it is. Uh, you sure this thing's safe? If you hold it for me. Come on, I'm starving. This loneliness makes me want a sandwich. <laughs> Beautiful dismount. Check this out. Thank you. It's perfect. Beautiful dismount. That's so. <laughs> It's a really funny one-liner. Oh, you better move. Get out of the way. Give me a quick time. I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> not this. Not the type of game for that. <laughs> oh! Ooh! Holy shit! Are you okay. <laughs> I'm glad you're laughing. I need a drink. Do you need a drink? Yeah, we might need a drink oh, after that. <laughs> turtle? Turtle. Turtle the bar? The pub? They seem like pub Wait, girlies. I don't think they're bar girlies. Last. That's okay. Oh, we Chloe. Will. Chloe! Oh. Uh, back when we played Life is Strange, yeah. I didn't play it on the channel. You dead? But oh, yeah. back when I played, okay. I chose to sacrifice the dead. town. Not dead. Just thinking. Title sequence. This reminds me of the the bar in um, True Colors. Cosmopolitan for Max. Of course, you got a Cosmo. Good <laughs> shot for Safi. Very on brand in both cases. Perfect. Thanks a ton, Amanda. Hey. Oh, Amanda's cute. You look really good today. I like her hair. You think so? I switched shampoos. Oh, not sure about it yet. So, what are you up to later? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Work? Sleep? Uh, I'm working, I guess. I've got a dark room all nighter in my immediate future. 
<laughs> that Protestant work ethic's a killer. <laughs> you know she was flirting with you, right? Oh, really? Yeah, I totally missed that. My Amanda, fault. Are you actually this oblivious? Sadly, yes, I'm not oblivious, dude. I totally missed that. My fault. <laughs> oh, guilty. Flirting is like a foreign. Language. Dude, Max looks great. You spent all in the trailer. I thought like her style was a little bit weird and didn't feel like Max, but like I kind of really dig her like older look. A lot of suitors in abandoned buildings. Is this about the blue-haired girl who's Chloe. picture you keep in your wallet? That's part is in the trailer. Wait, do I get to talk I about her? In my wallet? Stop deflecting. The girl with the blue hair. What's the deal with you two? We were just friends. We were high school sweethearts. Are right, giving me the chance to like change the narrative here? I, I don't know. I'm a big Rachel Chloe girly. I'm not much of a, a Max Chloe girly. But we get to like rewrite our own story here. I kind of want to make them high school sweethearts because I think that sounds cute. Look, we were. We did kiss. <laughs> I made that choice. <laughs> okay. I think Chloe and. High school breakup turned into Miss Havisham. I think Chloe and Max would have tried dating at one point. Can can we change the subject now? No, come on. You never talk about yourself. Would it kill you to open up the teeny tiniest bit? What happened? Oh, uh, uh, is, is this how they find out my previous choices? We broke up. She died. <laughs> OK, so I, I mentioned it just briefly earlier, but I made the choice to sacrifice Arcadia Bay. And if you haven't played Life is Strange 1, I don't know what you're doing here. <laughs> Go play Life is Strange 1 and then come back. I'm gonna assume everyone here has played Life is Strange 1, Life is Strange 2, Life is Strange Before the Storm, Life is Strange True Colors, and maybe Captain Spirit, but I don't think it's gonna get referenced. Also, I don't think you should really care about spoilers for Captain Spirit, <laughs> but that's my knowledge coming into this game. I've played those games. The only one I haven't played is like the Life is Strange dating sim thing. Uh, I chose in Life of Strange 1 to sacrifice Arcadia Bay because I would do anything for Chloe. <laughs> Which means she's still alive and we broke up. <laughs> I mean, the action will have consequences. There it is. The OG. Dude, I have a butterfly tattoo of that for this game. And then we weren't. It grew apart. She wanted to live in the future. I was too hung up on the past. But importantly, she's alive. <laughs> That's all you're getting. Ah, oh, dude, this is such a lesbian bar. For now. There's like LGBT <laughs> on the wall. <laughs> this place is full of women. <laughs> Deal. Okay, I'm catching on where we went now. <laughs> Amanda. Thoughts? Amanda? I mean, she's cute. I like her aesthetic. She's not my type. Obviously, I have a huge crush. That's like, <laughs> like if I say she's not my type, do I just never get to like experience her character versus like if if I choose, obviously, I have a huge crush. Maybe it'll like give me some chance to explore her. I don't know. Like, I like Safi a lot, but I think Safi's going to die, right? <laughs> like fairly soon. I think that's the whole point of this game is finding Safi's murder, at least based on the trailer. That's what I got. We'll say we have a huge crush. Fine, yes. I have a big, stupid crush on a hot girl. That's also real. So does half a lake board. Amanda's a tall catch. Half of Lakeport doesn't have what you have. A softy. I can help you navigate the complicated waters of love. Are you not into First me, though? Talk to I want me. you to be into me. About what? That was so much chemistry what we had in the bowling people alley. even talk about? Mostly gas prices, but we're <laughs> a little bit higher. I mean, go look around. She's responsible for half the decor in this place. Ah, oh, she an art bitch. What she likes. Yeah, yeah. If she's an art bitch, we yeah. can make a connection. Okay then. Down it. There you go. Ooh. Time to go be normal. 
Max, you're anything but, but that's kind of your charm. Look at the clothes you're wearing, Max. Okay, the more I, that I see this like Halloween outfit, talk about them. I can do that. The more it doesn't fit in <laughs> with the world, <laughs> we might have to change it at the next opportunity. We gotta put the cap outfit on. Oh, we got apps now. Okay. Task, learn about Amanda's interest. Wait, what's my phone background? Is that a statue of something? Bro thinks he's the thinker. Look at him. Uh, I have text messages and I have crosstalks. As of collectibles, the turtle back door, December 4th. Is that like the collectible I can find in, in this room? Okay, go to the back door and look for a collectible. Interesting that it tells you where to find it. Alright, we'll start off with Safi, of course. Not to rush you or anything, but Halloween is in three days. Are we doing this costume or not? I don't really care if we win gold at Vin's theme party. I do care if our costume puts whatever he's wearing to shame. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I just need to pick up one last thing from the store and then we're golden. Well, shake a leg, bitch. This is very important to me. And should be to you, too. You and I have very different definitions of the importance of Halloween. And I say that as an avowed gorehound. Beep beep, Max. Your, sh your chariot awaits, or whatever. I'll be out in a sec. It's been five minutes. That barely counts as one. <laughs> That's not. <laughs> That's just not what she said. Coming now. Believe it when I see it. Oh, okay. Uh, I think I'm almost recovered from Halloween. How you holding up? Oh, we got a hangover? I say now I know how undead feel, but I think they're managing better than I am. <laughs> Same boat, friend. How about this? If the harsh light of day doesn't turn you into dust, meet me at the turtle for the greasiest breakfast known to man and the bloodiest Mary's Amanda can make. Yeah, we're definitely hungover. Let me peel myself out of bed and get back to you. Good call. Let's make it an actual brunch instead. Fuck it, lunch even. It can still be greasy. God, this is the best idea anyone has ever had. I know it's a school night, but are you cool to meet your favorite poet for a drink? Aw, does she do poetry? That's cute. I like how everyone's in the arts. It's probably an art school, I imagine, but... I'm glad that Max didn't give up on photography. I got you. Just wrapping up some grading I put off to the absolute last minute. Oh, are we a TA? Cool, I finished book draft final, 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 final. This time I mean it, version 4. About 12 minutes ago and the adrenaline is making me nauseous. I'm gonna start naming my videos like that. Oh, congrats, Safi. Doing never feels better than done. Thanks, Max. I might have given myself carpal tunnel, but I can still bend the elbow in the parlance of our times. First two rounds on me. Is it cool if I invite Moses? I was gonna text him next. Great minds, etc. Sorry, I've been Mia in text land for a minute. Been thinking about my final draft, and I need to do another final or draft on it. Having trouble focusing on my students' work as a result. You're a great writer, Safi. Give yourself a little grace, okay? Easier said than done. Just give it another few days. You do know this will be the longest another few days of my life, right? I know, and when it gets published, think of the stories you can tell about it on your illustrious book tour. I hate when you're right. Hey, not being a weird creeper, but you were at, at the turtle like 30 minutes ago. I was, still am. Oh, I assumed you're going home for Thanksgiving holiday. Oh, yeah. Not a bad assumption, honestly. I'd just rather not get interrogated by my parents as to when they can expect grandkids and why none of that has been forthcoming as yet. Oh, we haven't told our parents we're gay yet. <laughs> Yikes. Much easier to disappoint them from 3,000 miles away. True. Says you, I disappoint my mom to her face all the time. It's one of my sterling traits. Oh yeah, I think her mom's like the dean or something, right? Like that's what they're implying. One of many. And that segue is to say that if you want to see the disappointment happen in 4K, you can always join us for dinner that night. I know mom would love to have you and I would too. That's really sweet, Safi. It's only so she can harang har that word someone else about non-existent grandkids for once. Ha. <laughs> Maybe I can learn some new deflection techniques to try it out with my parents. That's crazy. Hey, can I bug you about something real quick? My book is done. I have nothing but free time. Outside of my classes, I mean. Cool. I've been wanting to shoot in abandoned places for a new series I'm planning. Or at least in order to knock the rest off. Haven't done it much due to the class workload. What are you thinking? That's the thing. I was hoping you'd have some ideas. I'm so fucking glad you asked. Meet me at the turtle later today. I'll bring a whole list. 
Done and done. Thanks, Safi. So what time are we linking up for this photo shoot? How does 1.30 sound? Like this. 1.30. Ew. <laughs> A dumb joke. Yeah, that's the face I just made reading that, too. Sorry, 130 works. Anything I should bring? Just your winning personality and maybe a keen eye. But you can leave the bad jokes at home. No can do. The bad jokes are part of me now, Max. The professor said the experiment was re reversible. Dude, they're so cute. Softy, please. Okay, well, only this once and only because I like you. Aw, uh, that was really cute. Um, It looks like the other... Oh, there's old text with Chloe. Okay, we'll save those because we know those aren't going to get updated. I do want to read every single text and every single piece of dialogue that I can in this game because I feel like that's the Life is Strange charm. But I want to give it to you in bite-sized chunks. I don't want to just like sit here for like 30 minutes reading text, you know? So we'll read them periodically, maybe throughout different scenes. But I'll read a few more because it looks like some of the other ones are short. Uh, we'll read Mom and Dad. Run all the way from the airport. All right, I'll meet you there. You left in a hurry. Everything okay? Yeah. Had a good trip. Love you. We went back to Arcadia Bay last week. You'd hardly recognize it after the rebuild. It's canon that we sacrificed the town. Let's go. <laughs> you hardly recognize it after the rebuild. They even made a monument to those we lost. Didn't you lose everybody? We heard about your upcoming exhibition in Cleveland. Would you mind if your mom and I crashed it? Anything fun planned for your birthday this year? Happy birthday, Max. We love you. Caledon must be keeping you pretty busy if you can't catch it, you on your birthday. Oh, we don't talk to our parents much anymore. We're thinking of doing another family vacation this year. When does your winter break start for you? We tried calling earlier, Max. We haven't heard from you since your birthday. Just want to make sure our girl is alright all the way out there. Sorry, I'll try to call more. The school is great, but I don't have as much free time as I thought, but I'm fine. We understand. Any chance we can expect you for Thanksgiving this year? He doesn't sound too great over the phone, Max. It was just a sore throat. Promise. Are you sure? Have you tried talking to someone about the catastrophe that wiped out Arcadia Bay all those years? Why would you just bring that up like that? I'm fine, really. Did Mark Jefferson ever say or do anything to you when you were in his class? Yes. <laughs> no, stop worrying, please. It was a cold. Yes, he did. And we have to live with all that. <laughs> we noticed things, Max. Anytime we would talk about Arcadia or the past, you shut down. We never should have sent you to Blackwell. Okay, can we relax? Okay, I'm on Max's side for why you don't message your parents. <laughs> this makes sense. It's not your fault. It's not yours either. You can always talk to us about anything. We're your parents and we love you, Max. Please take care of yourself. I understand they're trying to be there for me, but why were they smothering? <laughs> All right, we'll go back to those later. We got crosstalk. So what is this? Oh, it's like Facebook, it looks like. Was this in True Colors? I feel like there's a mechanic like this in True Colors. Oh, this is my profile. Oh, I can see all my posts. Vanessa, what a shot. Reggie, looks like it's going to come apart any second. Safi Max owes me her life. It's all the pictures I took. Oh, uh, they're going to show up there throughout the game? That's cool. We have different feeds. This is our main feed. FYI, there's a lot you can do in this world with a good friend who won't snitch. Aw, oh, Safi, can I like this? Can I interact with posts? I don't think I can. And then it's my main feed with my posts. Reggie, you ever feel like you've wasted the last couple of years of your life? Change your major, dude. You want to get a drink, says Diamond. Martin, your career outlook with an econ degree is much better than pretty much any other major at Caledon, if that helps. It doesn't. Fair enough. Martin's a dickhead. Fun fact about tonight's... Get yeah, Gemmins? Oh, Smeed, your shower has come. <laughs> what a bunch of dorks. From comets. But this one comes from an asteroid. Phaethon 3200. Phaethon has the closest orbit to the sun of any asteroid. Moses is an astrology nerd. Another fun fact. Phaethon is named after the son of the Greek sun god Helios. He drove his dad's sun chariot for one day and did such a shit job Zeus killed him with lightning. Safi, the fact is not fun. Who doesn't love a good smiting? I like Safi a lot. Vin. All I do is Vin. What a username. Rise and grind. I hate that. Asher, look at these blank profiles, dude. No grinding in public. You must be new here. Does President Fayad know you're posting her office? She's not the boss of me. She literally is. Only legally. I need coffee. 
Just made a fresh pot. Come by admin when you're a guy a second. I'll feed you. Ew. I don't like that. Can I show this to mom? Okay, so Vin has a brother named Hi. I don't know how much of this I'll have to remember. Much love to Tony. The best boot ever for finals week. Dude, there's so many blank profiles. Oh my god, most of you play too much. You ain't have to call out that girl you dated for like two months freshman year when, she when we was on a break. Damn, little bro. Putting all her business in the street. I didn't even know you and Tony were ev ever not together. Chanting and increased intensity. <laughs> name and shame. Name and shame. Oh, I love that. I mean, at least most people here have good vibes, it seems. The Abraxas is a student society. They do performance art, which as far as I can tell, just means juvenile pranks. Mm, the, the performing arts majors. <laughs> Boring Sunday, feeling the ennui. What's going on in front of the chem building? Brought to you by the Abraxas Society. I just want to get to my finals. <laughs> on loan for the rest of my semester, Sky Beast local artist. Ah, uh, Captain Chloe. Anyone who calls into Orleans, the big easy has never tried. Fuck. I wish I could have seen the show, Chloe. To do sound tech for a DIY show with no AC, it is hot as hell in here. Ah, oh, is she working as like a concert roadie? Girl, you're the MVP. We never could have done that show without you. Lucky for you, I worship an, at an altar of sick beats. Not my usual scene, but maybe you can bring me to the next one. Oh, I can. But you could, could you handle it, Chase? Oh, it's Victoria? Yes. Chloe and Victoria are friends? Wrong timeline, wrong timeline. Victoria Chase. Grand Isle is the last inhabited barrier island in Louisiana. Each year its shoreline is eroded by rising waters. Hey, are you still in Louisiana? Dude, they're friends? This is so crazy. Yes, I'm on an assignment for the rest of the month. Then it's back to the gallery in Seattle. Sick, I'm flying to New Orleans next week. Stop by and I'll buy you a beer. Deal, what are you doing here? Tell you about it when I see ya. Dude, what? Max and Chloe are drifting apart, but... Chloe and Victoria are friends? That's kind of crazy. Amanda, open mic night. Sign up sheet is looking pretty simple. <laughs> simple? Where did I get simple from? It's looking pretty empty, folks. Be sure to sign or I'll have to resort to an entire night of duck jokes. <laughs> Typo, do you mean <laughs> eggplant jokes? No, but she does have an entire bit about duck penises. You don't want to hear about the duck penises. <laughs> Bring it on, duck jokes quack me up. Oh, this is cool. I like that this is a feed. Yeah, we'll have to see how that updates throughout the game. It looks like everyone with a picture has like a notable character. All right, learned about Amanda's interest. We're back to the game. What do we got? Ooh, we got club songs, pop music. I always found it weird in Life is Strange they could just walk up to people's tables and talk to them, but it looks like they got rid of that. Native artist spotlight. Oh, that's just nice. Dude, indigenous people kind of get shit on everywhere. That's nice that they highlight it. Heartwoods one. Awesome firm watercolor on paper. Well, that doesn't look right. Yellow birch upside down. That's kind of cool though. Gosh, these are really beautiful. Watercolor on paper, have red a monopoly oak. on Lakeport's artistic genius, I guess. That's cool. Yeah, I like that. I admire commitment to a bit as much as the next girl, but the bit here is just confusing. You gotta commit to the bit. Dude, look at the little Amanda drawing. It's so cute. To the assholes who keep flipping the paintings, stop messing with people's heart. Oh, someone keeps flipping them upside down. I can fix it. Oh, so that one's probably meant to be upside down. Oh, I just realized that. Wait, that one may be meant to be upside down. Hopefully not. That'd be really funny. That'd be such a Life is Strange bit where I try to fix something and it's like, why did you flip that photo upside down? <laughs> I probably should have just left it alone. Wait, that's such a Life is Strange bit. House skull. And I cannot stress this enough. Huh. <laughs> yeah, I love Max. Sophie says the bands that play here are small, but have heart. 
It's a fun way to say I'm indie. Not sure if that's a compliment. Okay, I want to talk to her yet. Amanda probably knows which beer is actually good. I could bring up beer with her. Yeah, that's a topic. Nothing like showing that I'm the butch one. <laughs> I hope like Man, drinking beer alone makes I you butch. Get on the bad pickup line board. I wonder if anyone here knows any good ones I could borrow. There's a bad pickup line board. Safi surely knows a bad pickup line. She's got all these puns. Here's the month. Seminary Road, Old Belgium Pale Ale, Friendly Flamingo Stout. Also try our Sunday Bloody Mary. Always on tap. And that's probably the real beers. Real in quotes. Dude, this music goes hard. Oh, there it is. The classic, I can walk up to people and talk to them at their table. So that's Reggie and Diamond. They were in our book with pictures, so I think they're important. Hell yeah, Diamond. Way to go. The last time I saw her, written and directed by Diamond Washington. Dude, everyone here is so prestigious. We got poets, we got artists. Movie producers. All right, dog. It's a pirate cat. Dude, Chloe would love that. Let's turn this frown right side up. Oh, this one's upside down too. Okay, I feel better. Phew. Surely multiple photos being upside down means that it's like a good thing to fix them. Oh, I love the spiral though. Polaroid. I thought I was Caledon's resident Polaroid taker. A collectible? Clearly someone else has taken the plunge. Yeah, I who else is the photo heads. person? Is that Diamond and Reggie? Kinda look like them. Diamond and Reggie came to a few of my seminars, but I've never seen them hanging out before. We'll talk to them first. How do you do, fellow kids? Plans for the holiday, plans for tonight. Yeah, live in the moment. What brings you two to the turtle tonight? Fearless leader put us on duty. Oh, that's right. Must be exciting, being in a secret society. <laughs> yeah, very exciting. Join it's got an eyebrow piercing. Society where you too can become a prestigious artist and hang posters for Vin's party. <laughs> You'd think he'd have freshmen for that. I so love her hair. Why do people join a Braxis? It just sounds like a lot of stress. The only thing worse than being in a Braxis is not being in a Braxis. <laughs> if you want any recognition at all. It didn't used to be this way. It used to be about activism and creating art that matters. Now it's mostly for networking. Diamond likes the important Vin things. The president. So oh, Vin's the president? I knew he would be a kid. Well, good luck, you guys. Wait, give me a pickup line. I had a pickup line option. What what pickup line do you guys have? Survey question. You two know any good pickup lines? Uh, What'd you use on her? Lots of calories in that drink. It's to cut it off immediately. Way to burn them off. Oh god, that was horrendous. Too old school. Ugh. Yeah, that's how I feel. But a classic. Maybe yeah, okay walk up to it. someone, walk up to a woman and say there's too many calories in her drink. Let's see, let's see how that goes for you, Reggie. Soup pole. No way. The soup future is in my hands. Oh, is it? We got a Senegalese peanut soup or a New England clam chowder. Well, not gonna lie, Max kind of looks like she has a peanut allergy. We're gonna go with the clam chowder. <laughs> When in New England, do as the New Englanders do. Other soup does sound better, though. Anything over here? Membership list. Good beer, good ethics. What else could you ask for? Snapping Turtle, owned by members and democratically managed by an election board. The Snapping Turtle believes in beer, art, sustainability, and fair labor practices. You don't have to be a member owner of the Snapping Turtle to enjoy what we have to offer, but supporting us means supporting the arts in a fair and equitable way of life. I like that. 
employees only. I'm sure we'll break into that at some point. Dude, this bar is so queer. Like I was saying, Life is Strange has always been a very queer game. But like, I, I appreciate all the, the like, accuracy when it comes to queer related things in Life is Strange. You can tell that they definitely have queer people on their team and pull from their own experiences. Oof. This Chihuahua. Is it a Chihuahua? I think it's a Chihuahua. Staff recommendations. Amanda recommends misery cult, huh? I can work with that. Snapping Turtle staff recommendations. The latest season of Dem Demon Whisperer, Sadie, Brewmaster. I knew Granny Smith Grilled Cheese, Teddy Cook, Misery Cult's self entitled 1999 album, Amanda, Bartender. Wilder Beasts Than These by Professor Lucas Calmanero, Ayana, member slash owner. I should be able to break the ice now. Yeah, I got something to talk Not about. That having more to talk about or more pickup lines for her chalkboard ever hurts. Oh, yeah, I need to see if there's. if Safi has a pickup line. Ah, yes. The telltale signs of a 10 coffee all nighter. Yep. Look, dude, look at all the coffee cups around that poor guy. That's college for you, though. Got bathrooms back here. All right, looks like that was everything. Hey, Safi. You got a pickup line? You do. We'll talk to you first. Why are you talking to me? <laughs> no way you're getting mad at me for talking to you. All right. To talk to Amanda. Tell me you've got a terrible pickup line to share. Are you a campfire? Because you're smoking hot and I want some more. That is terrible, but that's much better than the other guys. <laughs> that's going on the cringe board. For sure. Moses once tried to explain the finer points of fermentation, but all beer tastes like dirt to me. Yeah, me too. I don't like beer at all. I can look Just at her. Talk to her, Max. You uh, know how to talk? Don't you love with women? Just women. Usually? Probably should have said that while oh. she was cleaning. That's not what I meant by that. So I haven't gotten a single break all shift. My bladder's about to explode. Go! I got you covered. Oh, I worked as a bartender with you Alex. Talk to me later. It's a fabulous idea. Don't go anywhere. Reggie. That's the third glass this week, Reggie. <laughs> I got this bathroom. Now you are a literal angel. You're welcome. I owe you. Got a dustpan. <laughs> Out of the way, freshman. <laughs> oh no, she's mean. I might fall in love with her. <laughs> Reggie's lucky I'm not gonna make him sweep up the glass. Oh no, we're making him sweep up the glass. Jeez, Reggie. How do you break three glasses in one week? Yeah, that's got to be a liability at some point. Uh, I can't make him do it. That's cringe. Mercury must be in retrograde. <laughs> All right, Max. Come here. If she had said Mercury was in Gatorade, I would have lost my shit. Moonlighting, huh? You know it. Hey, photography's a tough industry. Dude, this is such a good vibe. I'm not like a bar person, but if it was like this, I might go to a bar. <laughs> Remember, the class goes on the table. <laughs> oh, my bladder thanks you. <laughs> Tell your bladder it's my pleasure. Oh, and I saw you fix the paintings. I'm gonna have to put you on payroll. There you go. Yeah. I didn't fuck it up. I'm pretty amazing. So hey, you were gonna say something before all that. Yeah, let me talk to you. Misery cult, beer recommendations, pickup lines. Uh, should we tell her about Safi's pickup line? We'll hear with the pickup line. Those come first, right? I gotta know what the deal is with the pickup lines. My buddy Henry and I were. I don't know how to flirt. Holy shit! You do comedy? And this is the first I'm hearing about it. Sorry, sorry. Listening quietly, please proceed. <laughs> so the whole drive up, he's telling me the grossest pickup lines he can think of, trying to get me to squirm. Dumb, bro shit. Anyway, it turned into a competition, which I won. Nobody knows grosser pickup lines than a small town lesbian. <laughs> and the competition yeah. turned no, into a Yeah, no, I believe her. <laughs> so, give it a shot. 
What's the best pickup line you've got? I seem to have lost my number. That's a max pickup line. Are you a campfire? That's Safi's. I know a great way to break without using Reggie's. Safi, come through for me. Are you a campfire? Because you're smoking hot. And gotta work on that delivery, I Max. A lot of eye contact. <laughs> Cringe. Yep. <laughs> Goofy as hell. We made the board. Ah, perfect. You're on the board, Max. She likes comedy. She like cringe. Uh, I want to try a misery cult. I read her recommendation. So you're a misery cult fan? For sure. God, so cool that you know them. I don't. I don't actually. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. We gotta be honest, right? I don't actually know them. I just read the board. No. Sorry, I have of consequences. Of them until I read your wreck on the whiteboard. Oh, right. You're not a Lake Fort local, duh. <laughs> so I feel like she I can't hate me for being honest, right? Oh, no. Yeah, Misery I'm interested. Was the first band out of Lake Fort to make it big. They kind of founded the Lake Fort music scene. Yeah, imagine she like I just pretended like I knew them. I figured it was a band. How big are they? Lake Fort has a music scene. We have a music scene. Let me get in on that. Lakeport has a scene. Basement but bar shows? That kind of goes hard. Yeah, At least in the pop punk community. pretty sick outside of the academic bubble. Apparently, you just need to explore more. We should hang out sometime. Beer recommendations? Ah, give me a beer recommendation. Recommend a beer for someone who hates the taste of beer. Don't get a beer. Handlebar cider. That's the max is thing on tap. She knows me. Hi, it's my job to know the regulars. I am the all-seeing eye of Lakeport, Vermont. She's kind of goofy. I like it though. Like He's charming. That dork ass rich kid secret society. Uh oh, job. okay. Yeah, no, 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 we're not joining that. Never mind. Should hang out sometime. So, I was thinking that we should totally do something in Lakeport sometime. You could show off the local music scene. Yeah, I want to hear about that. There's this band, Revenge Horse, that I've been meaning to check out. Sounds like a punk band. Just on that name alone, I'm 100% yeah. in. Max knows her way around so, a punk uh, girly, too. <laughs> oh, uh, I like to make sure that boundaries get set early. Uh, so, zero pressure, either way. No, I, I like that, too. I like being up front with things. Is this a date thing, or is this a friend thing? You give me the option, <laughs> piece of shit game. Ah, you are, you bitch. A date thing, a friend thing. Uh, Amanda's cute, dude. I don't know. I, I kind of want it to be a date thing. It seems like Chloe's moved on. She's friends with Victoria, which is crazy. I don't know if she wants to see us again. Maybe I should have read those text messages. Maybe it'll say why Chloe and Max aren't friends anymore. But I think this could be a date thing. It, we're kind of a different point of our life. Amanda seems cute. Not to jump at the first hot girl that they put in front of us. Definitely thinking a date thing. First girl is often the best, though. You're really fucking adorable. Oh. Uh, <laughs> give me your number. It's a date, then. Tell me that's her number. Yeah, let's go. Look at you, Max, doing normal people shit like some kind of healthy, productive member of society. How do you feel? I have no idea. The last 10 minutes are total blur, but Amanda's really cool. Moses! Oh, hey, Moses. Oh, how was the shoot? We almost died. We <laughs> didn't almost die. We kind of almost died. Because I saved us. I deserve a medal. <laughs> Dude, the art in this place is so, so cool. what are we doing? The night's young. We should hang out. Just the three of us? There's a meteor shower tonight. I'm conducting research, but it could be fun with other people. You should come, both of you. That's perfect. All we need is, hold on. <laughs> is she getting? She's a mile a minute tonight. <laughs> she gets this way when she's in a good mood. That's good. I love that for her. Courtesy of Madame President, Mommy Dearest. You steal that? At least until she remembers that I have her credit card. Buy with her credit card? <laughs> you a 12 year old kid with Robux? Shall we? Oh, getting drunk and partying with friends. It's an introvert special. I'm for it. I'm in familiar <laughs> territory. Of what we're actually here to see. 
A bunch of little pieces of a shattered asteroid. From 11 million miles away. This is what I get for oh, there's like telescopes. Wow. Oh my god. I see it without so telescopes. Should we be worried about this crazy asteroid hitting Earth? <laughs> Not in our lifetime. And it'll probably disintegrate before it reaches the surface. All right, Max. You have 24 hours before the world ends. What would you do? Take a picture of what I was going to do anyways. Max would take a picture, dude. Oh, I'm documenting that shit. Can you imagine how cool an apocalypse photo set would be? Oh my god, this again? She's not a very live in the moment person. You, She's very like, I gotta capture this. Otherwise, it's just, okay, cheese. Agree to disagree. She did it for herself. Over there, Murph. Don't want to weigh in? Oh, Moses Murph? I wasn't listening. But, or is that like your last name? Working? Eek, why am I not at home wrapped up in a blanket burrito right now? Because you're a good friend, fear of missing out. You're right. This is a terrible idea. I'm definitely not saying that. Uh, FOMO. I don't know. Me and Moses out in town without you? Think of the wild times you would have missed. <laughs> Lakeport's most notorious party animal. Yep, that's us. <laughs> not the air horns. <laughs> Dude, ew, that's cringe. <laughs> Oh, I brought cups. Figured that was better than passing the bottle around. What? It's like a <coughs> max. It's like a rite of passage to drink from the bottle and this I'll is share the best it. You could do? I don't work in this building. Don't blame me for the astronomy department's bad taste. Mine says I'm the world's grandma. Is it really? Grab a mug, Max. I got some options. How many? We brought so many mugs. Actually, this is actually vodka, nerdy and dirty, or the toilet. World's best hot chocolate. Oh, I really like the actually vodka one, and it's like, uh, like rustic. Looks old. Like it's got a nice vibe to it. I'm not drinking out of a toilet bowl. This will have consequences. Why? This game loves doing that. I have some good news. Uh, it's big, but I can't tell you what it is. My flight or fight or flight triggers when I see that. Good news, and then I don't want to say anything else until everything is finalized. Mysterious. Oh. Well, whatever we're celebrating. I we think in addition to the trailer, oh, let me, I I'll talk after. This camera, and I want to get some good use out of it. What should we say? Damn, I think I have hypothermia. You cold, dude? Put some gloves on. Moses Moses has oh my god. <laughs> That's so funny. I've got income. Oh my, you better put some gloves on. <laughs> I'm gonna, you know, um, do my thing. Yeah, right? Think I've got to let you just leave? Good news, huh? You two and your secrets. How you ever hold a conversation with each other is beyond me. <laughs> oh, we can move. oh my god, there's so many objectives. Maybe I can somehow convince her to spill. Um okay. So I think like I, I've only seen the trailer for this game, but I think when they did the trailer, like the first time, they showed a like a bit of gameplay with it and I think this was shown because I feel like I remember this I feel like I remember Safi's thing being like a promotion or, or like an Moses acceptance of something Safi like it's a letter for years maybe he could help I also remember something about candy but I don't remember what it was only the highest quality drinking vessels for the astronomy department dang Safi snagged the good stuff from the snapping turtle Safi's second favorite oral fixation. Sour cats? Oh, that's the candy. Okay. Uh, gumbo, sour cats, flavor changing gummies. Give me a sec, they'll get sweet. Wait, can I, can I take one out? Flip it upside down. Oh, no. We'll come back to it. Uh, I do want to do some more reading, though. 
I'm really enjoying this so far, man. This is this is good. It looks like we have another collectible somewhere around here. Observatory path. Overlook. They should have checked that out. Okay. Speak to Moses on Safi Seeker is our task. Uh, <laughs> Reggie. Whoa. Oh. I'm so sorry about the broken glass, Max. Please don't let Amanda ban me for life from the snapping turtle. It goes here great. That's a lot of emojis. Oh, dude, remember when Chloe used to be like, no emoji in her text? There goes your grade. Oh, he's one of my students? <laughs> no, I worked so hard for it. Calm down, Reggie. I'm only kidding. That's funny. I can tease him about that. Uh, we read the mom and dad. We read Safi. Okay, we'll read Yasmin, Chloe, and Moses. Hello, Maxine. Welcome to Chaldean University. I'm Dr. Yasmin Fayad. Oh, this is Safi's mom, presumably. We spoke over the phone, so this is simply a follow-up message. I know everyone is so excited to meet you and experience all that you have to offer. I hope the feeling is mutual. Also, I'm really glad the phone works in this game. You know, if you played before the storm, there was like really hard mechanics to make the phone actually usable. <laughs> I don't know if it was just because I was playing in like full screen or something, but scrolling on the phone felt so weird. Oh, it certainly is. I cannot thank you enough for this amazing opportunity, Dr. Fayad. No need to be so formal, Maxine. You can call me Yasmin. You're calling me Maxine. I'm only Do Dr. Fayad when I'm fundraising. Well then, thank you, Yasmin. Hello, Maxine. It's Yasmin. I trust that you settled in and both students and faculty are treating you well. I am, and thank you. The campus is really gorgeous, and I can't wait to capture its beauty on film, on my own, and with my students. Oh, lovely. I know I'm not alone in anticipation of seeing your work here at Caledon. Caledon. Sophia told me at lunch today that you two are getting along famously. Well, she phrased it more crudely, but that was the gist of it. She has been very aloof the past while, so it's remarkable to hear that you have been instrumental in her returning to her old self. Your daughter is truly a delight to be around, Yasmin. It's been way too long since I've met someone as engaging as Witty Asafi. If anything, I should be thanking you. I appreciate that, Maxine. That really does mean a lot. Hi, Maxine. I wanted to thank you for displaying your work in the Fine Arts Building this past weekend. Parents Weekend is always a big event, and everyone was raving about your photography. You are a major asset to our humble institution. It was my pleasure. I never know how people are going to react to my art, so I'd love to hear that it was success. It was no surprise to me. I knew they'd love it. Hi, Maxine. I apologize that this is too forward, but Safia intimidated that you might not be returning home for Thanksgiving holiday. I know travel at this time of year can be ma maddening, and I wanted to extend the invitation to dine with Safia and I tonight. If you like. It's not a holiday we've celebrated in the past, really, but all the same, I'd hate for you to be alone, and I know you should agree. Thank you, Yasmin. I've been a bit of a wonder recently. If I'm feeling better, come Thursday, I'll let you know, though. Of course, and please feel do and please do feel better soon. Oh, I'm gonna mess out reading that. All right, Moses. Oh, there's a lot from Moses. It looks like he's one of the best friends. So. Hey, Max, sorry for the sort of short notice, but I'm on the fence about the Halloween party at Vin's. Oh, no, Moses, everything okay? Yeah, yeah, Safi and I went last year, and it was a good time. Only I went a little overboard with the festivities. Let's just say I was Tetsuo and Vin's apartment was Neo Tokyo. Yeah, that's a reference I can understand. That's an anime reference, right? Maxine Coffee, you're killing me. Even Safi, even Safi has seen that, you know? Hey, I could have Googled it and pretended like I knew. Real talk? I kind of wish you had. Ah, oh, you need to watch Akira. Akira is great. If you change your mind about the party, let me know. And if you're still a no, I can bring you back something from Neo Osaka. <laughs> Max, please. The wound is still fresh. Yeah, Max. Safi texted me a little bit ago. Said you were both still hung over from Halloween. Yeah, my ceiling finally stopped spinning an hour ago. It's been a morning. Max, it's almost 1 p.m. Moses, please don't drink shame me. Right, sorry. I wanted to see if y'all need a ride to the Snapping Turtle. I haven't had lunch yet, and I imagine you two could use my company. Oh my god, you are a saint. Which is nice, since it's All Saints Day. All Saints Day was yesterday. All Saints Week, then. That's not real. I'll see you in a little bit. It's the second Friday of the month, Max. Uh, yep, it sure is. Dot, dot, dot. Wait, Moses, what did I forget? Mana Massive? Again? Oh shit, that's today? It is every month. If you don't want to play, it's fine, I understand. Oh, is it D&D? 
I wanted you to tell me in person to my face that you don't want to play. You know, I don't have that kind of willpower. I barely have enough to make coffee most mornings. Fair enough. Guess it'll be me and Diamond again. Diamond likes to play because it's fun. <laughs> Just don't act surprised when I bring this up again next month, all right? You will not guilt me into playing your collectible card game, Moses. Ah, it's a TCG. You say that now, but I can already sense the equivocation in your text. I told you my willpower was not what it used to be. You still coming to movie night or no? Some serious apologies, Moses. I fell behind on grading. Uh-huh. I bet you did. Aw, oh, Max, you gotta hang out with your friends. What's that supposed to mean? It's supposed to mean that this is the second time something came up when Safi picked the movie. <laughs> what? That's a coincidence. In fact, that's precisely what coincidence means. Look, I'll have to suffer through the in unanimity of Brain Bucket 2. I'm not doing it without your backup. Wait a minute. Brain Bucket 2 was my choice. Well, my point still stands. Still can't believe you didn't like Brain Bucket 2. Moving night isn't about having fun, Max. It's about having fun and the suffering we inflict upon our friends along the way. <laughs> is that an Orson Welles clue? <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, are you sticking around the campus for the holiday? Yeah, you need me to keep an eye on your lab? Honestly, better if you didn't. There's a lot of delicate equipment in there. Hey, I'm a photographer. I handle delicate equipment better than anyone. Anyway. Oh, anyway, I wanted to make sure you you're be all right so far from home and all. I'll manage. I've been on my own plenty of times before and Safi will be around. She will. She's good like that. I think you're good for each other. Fwew. Oh, for what it's worth. Gotcha. For what it's worth, I think all three of us are. You're free to grab a blade of the snapping turtle? I could use a vent session. Oh no, for you? Always. Can't remember the last time I heard you vent. Well, Safi was answering, so... Ah, uh, yes, good old contingency Caulfield. Love to be second fiddle. Do you want to meet or not? Max, you know you're a main character. Yeah, I'm only fucking with you. So, what's the nature of the vintage? The new telescope I ordered. With school funds. is on back order. Damn, that sucks. It does. It wasn't on back order when I ordered it, though. I was going to set it up as a treat to my students for finals week. Oh, yeah, I can see how that would get under your skin. Thanks, Max. I'll see you at the trail on a few. Usual seat. Hey, let me know when your top secret photo shoot is over, and I'll meet you in Safi. Moses, if it's top secret, please don't mention it over text. Max's pictures. Of Safi, I imagine? It's not code breaking at Bletchley Park. You don't know that. It could be Bletchley Park. Right. Usual table? Usual table. I'll text you when we finish. I'll bring my decoder ring. Oh boy, and the Chloe one. <laughs> okay, so everyone who says Chicago winters were unbearable. Oh, we're in Chicago. They were grossly underestimating. My ancestors are freezing. Oh no, I clicked the button by accident. I'm sorry. I don't know. I kind of like it. It's like literally so cold, it's impossible to think about anything else. All my problems don't magically disappear, they're just replaced by a more immediate and brutal one. It's refreshing. Plus, Mallort. Mallort? So Chloe was in Chicago with us, at one point it seems. Chloe, nobody actually drinks Marley. <laughs> it's a bit... You don't have to commit that hard to the bit. <laughs> yes, you do. You always have to commit to the bit. Also, you're texting me this from a hotel room with the thermostat set to the surface of Venus, right? Venus is lovely this time of year. You coming down or not? Yeah, five more minutes. But you want me to order you. And don't say Mallory. <laughs> Mallory. <laughs> Hey, so I woke up a little early and I'm down at the cute little coffee shop and I was thinking, what if we just lived here, Chloe? In Andersonville? It's like the queer Chicago neighborhood. And we could, you know, stay. By stay, you mean a few months? A year? No, I mean permanently. Max, are you asking me to move in with you? For good? On Valentine's Day? Shit, is that today? Don't act all coy on me now. Sorry, I really didn't know. That was some grand romantic gesture or something. That wasn't some grand romantic gesture or anything. Aw, let it be. I just like it here, with you. I don't know, it feels so... final? Yeah, but final in a good way though, right? Chloe, you there? Let me ask you something, Max, and please think about this from my POV, okay? Okay. If I say no, will you just rewind time again and again until I say yes? Chloe, I would never. How could you even ask me that? Max, never is a hard thing to promise. No, never is forever. Look, I don't want to do this over text, all right? I'll see you when you get back. Yeah, sure. I might be a little wild, though. Yeah, I understand. Hey, where'd you run off to? Sorry, you look so peaceful. I didn't want to wake you. I never stopped you before. 
I don't know, maybe I'm turning over a new leaf. That would be the day. As cramped and rancid as this motel room is, I'm surprised you aren't getting some fresh air too. Nah, the sheets still smell like you. I could lie in bed all day. Okay, one, you are so fucking corny. You know you love it. And two, it sounds like you're asking me to bring you back something. Chloe, I am not asking you to bring me back something. I know how you ask for things, Max. Well, since you ask, why, why don't you wow me? Bring me whatever delicious St. Louis has to offer. Oh, they traveled together. That's cute. So we're not in Chicago. They just traveled around together. Gooey butter cake and ribs it is. Okay, I didn't mean wow me that fast. How did you pull those out of your ass? Like immediately. I knew you'd want me to bring you something. I googled while you were asleep. Chloe, you are the best. Yeah, I'm really something. Oh, what happened? That doesn't tell us anything. Dude, they were traveling together. That's so cute. Uh, who else do we have? I guess if we look through our main feed, we'll just eventually run into everything. I feel like when your friends enthusiastically agree to go stargazing with you on a rooftop in the middle of the Vermont winter. Oh, we're in Vermont. Hold on there, Moses. Max and I didn't say anything about enthusiastically. Exactly how cause cold is it supposed to be tonight again? Amanda, I'd love to join you all if I could. Seems like every year the Gemini Gemini Geminids come to town. I'm stuck working at the turtle. I'm glad you've got friends looking out for you because you know how I worry about my baby boy. Wear that coat I sent, Mom, Moselle. Wait, the Geminids aren't tonight, are they? I told my girl we'd go watch them. Time for a contingency plan, I guess. Nice one, Gerald. Lucas, you look pretentious. Why, why does he kind of look like Wolf Blake? <laughs> it's so satisfying to see how my, how far my students can go. Congratulations, Kennedy. I'm so proud of you. Loretta? Get a clue with LR. That, that sounds like a podcast. Thrilled to say that the most recent episode of Get a Clue, Crosstalk's number one true crime podcast, hit 1,000 downloads in a day. New record. Gotcha. It did sound like a podcast. Robin was the guest. There's Lionel. The dad. Gwen. I haven't met a Gwen yet. Happy 27th one of my biggest fans. My sisters are gladdies. You're officially old now, so I can't wait to see what wisdom comes with age. 27 isn't old. <laughs> Women's big age all over the social media like that. Big age? I'm only two years older than you, Vani. Oldest daughters really do have it the hardest. Almost pissed my pants, still, stand still landed the girl, except for Revenge Horse Date. Aw, dude, Amanda's kinda cute. Oh, who's the girl, and does she know you almost peed yourself? She doesn't now. I went and telegraphed to the world, I almost pissed my pants, but that's just me. Shut up, Ashley. Four day work week, Caledon. Yeah, I think we got everything now. It's just the, like, the no names. They're the blank profiles. Oh, that's cute. All right, we're caught up on the notebook, though. I'll be periodically reading it throughout the the game. I can look through the telescopes. Oh, I can talk to Moses. I want to explore. We got back here. Moses and Safi have been friends for years. Maybe he could help. Oh, yeah, one sec, Max. Mr. Iceman, what's to become of your head? We got Dory here. I guess being an astronomy guy has its perks, namely roof access. Yeah. I turn the music down a little bit too, so hopefully that helps. Good news too. I bet he knows a way to get it out of her. I bet he does too, but I want to see what there is around the place. Oh, snowballs? I guess this is how people who aren't Moses lose their rooftop privileges. Just throw them at people? Oh, I can't go that way. Oh. All right, we'll talk to Moses. I don't have a ton of options, so... I look through the telescope. Me and Chloe used to daydream about the adventures we'd have under skies like this. Aww. I love that you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. I quoted that earlier. After everything that happened in Arcadia Bay, I'm lucky I found this place. I haven't been as happy in years. I don't know, man. 
Uh, B to leave the Zen moment. This is like one of those life is strange sit down moments. I love those. I'm a big believer that, like, not everyone is meant to be in your life at all times. You know, even if they're like your best closest friend ever. I'm thankful that like I've had my friends for like longer than ten years, but there's friends that I thought would be like that and we drifted apart. And... I don't know, like, I just think that maybe sometimes you have to be friends for a moment in time and not eternity. I'm glad Max has made new friends, though. I wonder if Moses knows how to get Safi to talk. Oh, I can take a picture of him. I love how Moses always looks so passionate about his work. Casual lead show off. Crunching numbers. Moses is a casual lean kind hey, of guy. Moses. Casually lean on the telescope. Don't knock it over, I though. Might knock it over. Yeah, don't do that. Pretend. There you go. <laughs> He's kind of stiff. You know? Yeah, wait for the right. Uh... Oh, Taco chose Poe's choices. Candid? Actually. Could you go back to the laptop? Uh, I think he would like a, like... Wait, I want to see what show off is here. Moses, this is all super cool. Show off a little. Oh god, what is he gonna do? What is this, dog? What are you cooking here? What are we cooking? Uh, no, 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 you're a candid guy for Actually, sure. Could you go back to the lab? Yeah, yeah, we'll get you in the workshop. Don't worry, we'll make you look good. Cut off the feet. Get the laptop in. Make sure we get the tripod. Yeah, he's a candid guy. I think Safi's more of a show-off guy. Oh, we can post immediately. Nice. Moses Murphy is his last name. Man of science. Yeah, that felt right for him. Oh, I can talk to him. Wait, can I take a picture of Safi? Tell me I can take a picture of Safi. Yeah, I can. Nice. Hang on. Cigarettes? I Safi quit smoking. Is she stressed? Oh. It might be. That's a lot of cigarette butts. Are they all Safis? Maybe Safi will tell me her good news if I ask really nicely? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> no! Wait, I can't change her pose. Wait, I gotta catch her. Oh, I gotta get the, that in the background too. Get the ashtray in. Or, uh. Dude, this is a vibe. Any more sky. Okay, next shooting star that goes by. Or a comet, I guess. While she's looking. Alright, good enough. <laughs> I like that one. That one's goofy. When white people are like, now take a silly one, that's what happens. It loses Safi, so adept at evading any and all candid photographers. Once again, remains elusive. You might kill me for posting that, that's fine. Alright, Moses. But you know. Hey, Moses. I know you know something. Doesn't some small part of you want to know what Safi's good news is? Alright. I think I have an idea. But once we go down this road, we can't turn back. Um, okay. Yeah, they make it serious. Bottle cap? Give this to Safi, if you can. You'll probably have to trick her into taking it or plan it on her. Like a prank? No. This has rules. So it's more of a game. Whoever holds the bottle cap has to do whatever you say. 
Well, oh, this is yeah. This is the one gameplay thing I've seen. You have to like hide it in your candy, I think. Never wanted to play a game more in my entire life. Or like the teaser, dude. This was from like three months ago. Sophie has a very loose I'm definition. I'm pretty sure I remember writing this down as like a note thing. <laughs> okay. Wish I don't know where I put that note though. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Oh, you mean like talking to someone who has an obvious crush on me? First of you all, saw that? How dare you? Yeah. Second of all, yes, exactly. <laughs> First of all, how dare you is great. That's a very, that felt very much like Max. Oh, my hair color changed. Dude, my hair color changes in the outside outfit. It, maybe it's just because it's dark. Yeah, the candy. Okay, how am I going to plant this on Safi? Uh, we're going, we're putting that in your candy. Find a hiding spot for the ball. New message from Amanda. New crosstalk from Gwen. Amanda texted us. Thanks for making a poor bone weary bartender's night. Aw, you're cute. Also, that's crazy. She gave us her number and we she texted us first. I never, not only could she flirt in person, but she could do it over text too. I'm a woman of many talents. Get your heart out, Sophie. We'll see if you got a good music taste to boot. I feel threatened now. Okay, go enjoy the meteors and don't let Moses freeze. He will try to stay out all day. <laughs> Before I forget, too late. If you want more dumb jokes, I have a comedy account at the turtle. Um, and a uh, comedy. No pressure, though. Yeah, we'll follow it. Gwen and her wife are adorable. I had a lovely view tonight. The mirror shower was great, too. Oh, dude, I love how everyone's gay. Life is strange. Really? This is the pic you post? You're supposed to say I'm sweet. That's a given, sweetie. But there were better photos. It's the only pick with you in it. Aw, oh, okay. That is sweet. I miss you too. Drinks later. If they're on you, sure. Yeah, Gwen. Gwen is married. I did. This has 68 likes already. Yasmin, if you manage to get one of her Maxine, you'll have to let me know. I might have to frame it. She's even more mysterious here than she is on the page, which is saying something. And then the Murph one. Ryan? Who's Ryan? Lucky- wait. <laughs> That's surely not Ryan from True Colors. Lucky, Seattle's too cloudy today to get a good view of the Geminids. Just a man in his telescope. I mean, how's a man supposed to get by without his telescope? <laughs> yeah, plant this bottle cap. She can't slip away for a smoke. It'd be totally normal for me to offer her one and give her a bottle cap instead yeah dude i used to quit uh the way i quit smoking was i started drinking energy drinks so i think the candy thing makes sense like people need something to replace it with i need to hide this bottle cap somewhere that Sophie won't find suspicion any anytime that i tried to hide or anytime that i want a cigarette i would drink a monster and then now i'm just a caffeine addict <laughs> which i don't know how much better or worse that is than a nicotine addict but <laughs> Now I've just got to deliver this to Safi. Sour cats. <laughs> hey Safi, nothing suspicious at hey, all Safi. over here. Mm-hmm. Want some candy? We can't offer it immediately, right? How's the writing? Find anything poemable? <laughs> I tried. The moon? Kind of. Though I'd hardly be the first. Carl Sandberg called it a friend for the lonesome to talk to. Mm, pretty. I haven't seen a moon this bright outside of Oregon. Oh, a Max biography nugget. Uh, Those are rare. <laughs> you never really talk about why you came here. There's probably a reason. You already know. Your mom threw me a lifeline. Hold me out of freelance hell. Ugh, dude, I know all about freelance hell. One of these days. Oh I'm man. Find out what you're running from, Max Caulfield? That's a promise. Want some candy? Want a piece of candy? There's a few left. No, oh, twist my arm. <laughs> <sighs> Shit, it's a conspiracy. Got your ass. Come on, Max. Surely you, of all people, would let a girl have her secrets. Ah, uh, don't guilt me into it. 
Nope, rules are rules. Fine, you win. Dude, she's giving... She's guilting me into it. But I want to know, though. She's gonna be pissed. Ugh. Sorry, Safi. The rules are the rules. You violate the sacred covenant of the bottle cap? Never. You know I'm going to get you back for this, right? That's fine. Ready. More talk. Okay. See, she's so, willing to tell us. Well, I've been shopping around a bunch of my poetry, right? Like, as a collection. And a publisher made an offer. Let's go. Really? Congrats, oh bitch. God, <laughs> That's incredible. Congratulations. Can't believe you're hiding that. Thank you. Nothing signed or anything yet, so I want to keep it under wraps until all the paperwork gets signed. Understood. Your secret is safe with me. <laughs> oh. Oh, shit. Hello? This is Safi? Yes, this is Safiya Llewellyn Fayyad. Speaking. I'm the Govey. Be right back. You know, another opportunity? So, uh, would you really take pictures of the end of the world? Absolutely. Yeah. I like the little owl Think pen. I take photos of empty buildings. An empty planet? <laughs> That's next level. Okay. But it's like Safi said. Nobody is ever going to see them. Except everyone here on YouTube. That's not the point. Yeah. Sure, but... Who cares? I take a lot of photos nobody ever sees. I want to go out. <laughs> you just see my camera roll, dude. You know There's so many photos I've never seen in the late day. Oh, what? No, nothing. Just didn't take you as a it's the journey, not the destination type. I mean, I guess I'm not. It's more like sometimes you reach the destination alone. And that's okay. Look at that. What a tail. Moses was right. This is awesome. Let's take a picture of the moon. Do I want like a corner shot of like the town or do I just want to take a straight picture of the moon? Oh, uh, maybe something like that. Like the moon ab above. That's kind of cool. And I like also like something like that too. It's all the, the stars in it. Yeah, I'm taking this photo thing so seriously. Oh, look at that one. That was huge. Oh. Oh, no. That was very Life is Strange original. Are our powers back? Can we rewind? I don't know what the power is of this game. Okay? Surely it's rewind again. Yeah. Surely Max has a power, right? And it's not just like a back talk thing like Chloe. You can gonna take off, get some rest. I can give you a ride if you wait a few minutes. No, that's okay. I think a walk will clear my head. I think so. Oh, that's the uh, that's our wallpaper. That's the statue on her phone. Oh. The song sounds familiar. That voice sounds familiar. 
Caledon's a beautiful campus, but it's even better when it snows. Just to sleep in. Oh, that sounds so good, dude. How can you skip moments like these? Like, I know I can leave at any moment, but every time there's like a Life is Strange moment like this, I just want to watch it. I love this game. What Add the song to my playlist. For walking home. I'll just catch up with Sophie tomorrow. Uh, I don't know about that. We should make sure she got home. Oh, we followed the comedy club. Let's go. Amanda is a keen cultural anthropologist. I see. What she post? If I can't scroll down past the bottom, I have to go all the way to the top. The two graphics that know every word to Cisco's the thong song. <laughs> They're two-year-old boys and every lesbian in this New England gay bar. It is a gay bar. Does that make me a lesbian or a 13-year-old boy? Go away, Vin. No likes. Look at that. Ashley. Or sisters who had to listen to this every morning before school started. Best way to start your day. Um, good, mo good evening, Maxine, and my apologies about the hour. I received an alert from my bank that a purchase in excess of $200 was made at the staff and turned off my credit card. Sophia isn't answering her phone. I was wondering if you had seen her. She's not in trouble. I just wanted to know. Uh, no sign of her. We had, <laughs> we won't worry the mom. We had drinks earlier. She said she'd pay you back for the champagne. <laughs> Champagne? Why would she be buying champagne? I think it was the only wine the turtle had. Now we were celebrating. Oh, her mom doesn't know yet. At home. So what's the significance of the statue? Is it like the founder? The father of modern astronomy ought to appreciate my dad jokes. Oh, it's Copernicus. <laughs> I'm not really an astronomy. I said astrology earlier, I'm pretty sure. I'm not really an astronomy guy. I took one astronomy class in college, but that was about it. Did I explore the screw? Oh, there's another gnome! Let me get the gnome! Let me get gnomed again! Damn it. Looks like I have to go this way. Sophie's chain smoking again? I wonder what that call was about. Oh, she's leaving a paper trail. <laughs> Oh no, is she angry? She kicked the snowman over. Wait, she's mad about something. Okay. She might have her guard up. We gotta be careful what we say. Trash cans. Oh, another Polaroid. Who's leaving these Polaroids? Is it Safi? She got secret photography like interest? Who planted the bottle cap? And who took the photo? Is it Moses? It's gotta be one of them, right? So that's the same bottle cap? Oh, an owl. Can I take a picture? Oh, it's gonna do the head thing again. You get a migraine. You haven't got any Tylenol T3s on them? Oh, is this supposed to be- is this an astronomer or is this supposed to be like a Sisyphus thing? I assume it's an astronomer, right? Because it's got the, uh, like that's the Cancer scale, or the Libra scale, Cancer scale. Uh, that's Scorpio. That's Sagittarius. Uh, I don't know all of them, but I assume that's all the Zodiacs. Oh, you got an icicle in your arm. Yeah, I like that. Look down at me. Oof. What did we mix? What was that champagne? Is <laughs> it the cup I chose? This is not a test. Max! The emergency broadcast Hello? is now in effect. I caused this. I caused all of this. What's happening? Whose voice was that? Uh, uh, 
Max? Hey. Hey, hey, are you okay? No. Oh, my nose is bleeding again. The powers are back. Something's wrong. Yeah. Safi. Oh, is this where we find out about Safi? Come back. I think it is. Let the murder mystery begin. <laughs> There she is. Oh, she's still Here's good. Sophie. She seems okay. I feel like I should check on her anyway. Better safe than sorry. Moses? You coming? Uh, who did they say I text? Oh, Moses. Uh. Yo, Max, is everything okay? Why'd you run off? Sorry, I think Sophie went to the Overlook and I wanted to make sure she's all right. Oh, hang on. I'll join you in a minute. Okay. Well, he's coming. Follow Safi. Yeah, get to her. <laughs> oh, incline. Get my steps in. Shit. Hello. Safi, hang on. That didn't. That was. That was a gun for sure. But that sounded like a fucking rifle. That didn't sound like a. She was like a pistol. Oh, she's alive. What sound was that then? Oh, Safi's fine. For a moment, I thought. Ah, uh, keep going. We gotta go. Don't get distracted. Chase her down. Run her ass down. Okay, she's here. Safi. Right? Safi? Hey. She was literally okay? just walking. Is she dead? Oh my god. Wait, she was taking photos. She has a secret photo, like, interest. Not that matters anymore. Jesus Christ. Can we call 911, please? She, yeah, she's gone. She, she got shot. Max, call somebody. Max. Let's, let's not just sit here. Can we please call for help? Before, if she has any chance, it's like slowly fading away. She probably has no chance. Bro, how did she just get shot? That's crazy. What motive does anyone have for murdering her? Because she got an opportunity? All right, who's jealous? Who's our underclassman? Oh, I guess she's a teacher. Who's our understaffman? We're figuring this out. We got a murder mystery on our hands. Everyone, round up. Oh, life is strange. What a crazy intro.